What's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how you can transfer photos from your iPhone to a Mac, MacBook Pro or PC wirelessly. Let's get started. All right, so we've got the iPhone 11 here, but you can pretty much use any iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch that's running, I believe, iOS 12 or later. And that's just so that you can take advantage of some of the features that we're using in this tutorial here. So if everything's okay, we're gonna start off by opening our Photos application. And you can access any photo any way you'd like, photo section, album section, whatever. The main thing is that you can tap and open up the Photos that you wanna transfer over to your computer. So for us, we'll use this one as an example, and we're gonna tap the share button at the bottom left. Now this specific option here is gonna work for Mac and PC, and once you're in your share section here, probably familiar with a lot of these features, the first bar is sending it over through iMessage to your contacts. The second one is various apps that you can upload these photos to. So some people like to upload all their photos to Instagram or Facebook, you can just tap on it from there. But that's not what we're gonna focus on in this video. We're gonna get them on your computer wirelessly. So we're gonna pull all the way down to the bottom here where it says save to files. And we're gonna tap on that. Now files is a great application that allows you to save your files to the iCloud drive and access them over the cloud on other devices. So you'll be able to access everything in these folders from your Mac, your PC, your iPad, whatever device you have, you'll be able to grab those files and photos that you put in here. So from here, first off, you can tap on the name and you can actually change this. So we'll just say test for this example, tap done. If you wanna change the name of the photo, keep it a little bit more organized. And then you're gonna to wanna to select a file to save it in. You can also create a file up top, but to keep things very simple, we're gonna tap the download section under the iCloud Drive, ensure that it's under iCloud Drive, not on my phone. So we'll tap there and then we'll tap save. And now it's automatically saved to our files application. So locate your files application on your phone tap on it, it'll open up very similar to this, and you'll be able to see all the recent things that you've done, saved and added to your files there. You can see there's the one I just added. But from here, we know we saved it in downloads, we can tap downloads, and there's our file. So this is pretty much how the files application will work. Anything in these folders that are under the iCloud Drive section, so iCloud Drive, any of these folders will appear on all the iCloud Drives that you have on your computer, iPad or devices. So we'll move over to the Mac here and we're gonna locate the iCloud Drive folder very similar to our iPhones on the Mac. Now we'll start by clicking Finder and then you'll notice the iCloud Drive section on the left. If you don't see iCloud Drive there, you wanna click on the Finder option up top, click Preferences and then ensure that the iCloud Drive section is selected. Now, if you're using Windows and you don't see the iCloud Drive option there, you most likely won't. You're going to need to download it. So you'll be going to this web page here. I'll link it in the description. And you want to download iCloud for Windows from the Microsoft Store. And then it'll add it to your system. You can follow all the instructions on this page. And basically, when it's downloaded, you're going to open your Explorer window at the bottom, the little folder. And again, just like in the Mac, you should see iCloud Drive on the left side. So whether you're using Mac or PC, once you have iCloud Drive on your left bar, click on it, and it's gonna open up all those folders that you can see in your Folders app as well on your iPhone. We're gonna click the Downloads option because that's where we saved our photo. And look, right there is our downloaded photo. So we could take this file now and just drag it out we can save it anywhere we want, another folder, I'm just gonna put it on my desktop, and then we'll click Move. It automatically removes it from our iCloud Drive on our computer, as well, it's no longer going to be available on our phone here, you can see it's gone as well. You can copy it over if you wanna save it and have it in your drive as well, it's totally up to you. And in the same fashion, if you ever wanna drag files back into your drive from your computer, you can easily just drag them in there and they'll appear both on your drive on the PC as well as the drive on your phone. So just to do this one more time, we'll go back to our phone here, just so you can see how quickly and easily it works. We're gonna open photos. We're gonna go back here. Let's select a whole bunch. So we'll just uh, choose from here 
and we'll just drag down. Let's say we wanted all of these photos. You can grab as many as you want that'll fit in your drive. Click the share button here. We're gonna choose the save to files option. We tap save to files. We're gonna leave it in our download section, tap save. And let's just go into our folder here. You can see they're all in our, our iCloud Drive folder. And you can see that it's now populating the photos on our Mac or computer as well. And you can see by this little cloud icon that it's not loaded yet. When the cloud icon disappears, that means it's loaded and it's on your drive ready to go. And again, you can just highlight them all and move them out of this drive onto a folder so you have them secure and it's not taking up space on your drive. And then back to your phone, you just go into your photos and you just select those ones that you added, tap the delete option, delete those photos, and you freed up some space and transferred your photos over to your computer wirelessly. The next option is gonna be for Macs only. I do have one more option after this for Windows and Macs as well. That might be the easiest for everyone, but we're gonna to move to this one here. And we're gonna open our Photos app again and just select any photo you'd like. So for example, this one, we're gonna tap the share button once again. And this time we're gonna use the AirDrop option. Now when I tap AirDrop, for me, you see that my MacBook Pro appears. Now yours may not appear here, and if it doesn't, you're going to need to configure this on your computer. So we'll go to our Mac once again, and this time we're gonna open our Finders window, and you wanna make sure that AirDrop is located at the top left. If you don't see AirDrop in the top left here, you're going to wanna to click on the Finder option at the top, and then click Preferences, and make sure that AirDrop is enabled. Once it's enabled, click on AirDrop in the left, and you wanna ensure where it says, allow me to be discovered by, that it's either contacts only or everyone. The difference there is that if you have it contacts only, only contacts will be able to send your computer files and photos. If you have everyone, anyone will be able to send it to you. However, you will have to accept if uh, somebody random sends you something. So it's up to you. Keep it on contacts only, that's what I do for now. Then come back to your phone here once again, Select a photo, tap the share button, tap airdrop. When you see your device, tap on it. It'll automatically send it over. You can see it jumped on the computer in my download section there. If we open our download folder, there is our photo that I just uploaded. Now the great thing about airdrop is that it's super quick and it doesn't have to be transferred over from a drive to your computer. It's just going to go there. So we'll do this one more time. I'll just select a whole bunch here. Those ones, we tap the share button, we tap AirDrop, and we tap on our MacBook. And automatically you can see they're loading in my downloads folder and it's super quick, faster than the share option with the iCloud Drive. Now for this to work also, you're going to need to have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled on both devices. So on your Mac and on the device you're sending it from. So make sure they're both enabled for that. The only reason why I would say that AirDrop isn't the greatest has to do with how you take your photos. So I'm just gonna open our settings application here and I'm gonna pull down and tap on camera. And then we're gonna to go to formats. Now, I take my photos in most compatible. That way it can get on the computer very quickly, like you saw right now. It's simple. It even says right here that it's the most compatible, always using JPG, etc. If you use these high efficiency modes, it turns the file type into this HEIF file mode. And when you try to upload those kind of photos through AirDrop especially, it takes a long time to convert them, especially if you're taking 4K and all that kind of stuff. It really slows it down. So if you plan to use AirDrop, I would suggest considering to use most compatible in the camera settings under formats. It'll make things a little bit quicker for you and easier. And lastly, like usual, once you've sent all those photos to your computer, just select them all here and delete them like you did earlier with the other method. All right, now the last method here we're gonna focus on is using a little device like this. Now I featured this many times in my channel. Uh, it's called the Transcend Jet Drive, I believe, right there's the name. I'll link you to this in the description, fairly cheap, and what it is is basically a USB that has a lightning 
port on the other side so you can connect it to your phone, store all your photos on this, and then you plug the other end to your computer, and then you can just transfer the files over. It's the simplest, especially if you're not very tech savvy. It makes things super easy, and you can carry this around and make these transfers anytime. So I'll show you how it works. So we'll just unlock our phone here. And all I'm gonna do is plug in the device. The first thing though, if you don't have this application here, it's called Jet Drive Go, it's gonna prompt you to install that. So just make sure you install that first. So I'll plug it in. I have the app installed. It's prompting me to allow, to communicate with the Transcend Jet Drive and I'm going to allow it and it'll automatically open this app. You can also just tap on the app to open it as well. Now there's a whole bunch of features here that you can utilize backing up your whole phone and things like that, but we're just gonna tap up top. It's gonna open up some settings and we can see our camera roll. So if I tap on camera roll, you can see all the photos that we had in our camera roll that we were just looking at. And all I have to do at this point is just tap that option there, tap the select or even select all and it'll select everything. So I'm just gonna select a few here for this example. And then I tap this share option here. And this time I select save to Jet Drive Go. I tap on that, it's automatically going to save them there. I can tap done. You can choose folders if you wanna save them in folders as well. This option here is totally up to you. It's gonna delete these photos off your uh, photo stream off of your iPhone after you've transferred them to this drive. You can choose to do that or if you wanna delete them yourself later, you can. I'm gonna delete them here, I trust it. And once you're done, that's pretty much it. So now we can just remove the jet drive here. And I'm just gonna plug it up to my computer, Mac or PC, it works for both. And all you wanna do is either open up your finders window here or your explorer window on a PC. And you just wanna look for the jet drive option on the left. Now, when you click on it, you're gonna see all the photos that you've added. So these were the last few right here that I added to it. And you can see they're there. All I have to do at this point is just like I did with one of the other options, just drag it over. And then once you've moved all the files you want over, you can just select them all and delete them. With both, you can copy, cut, paste, however you wanna use this. You can even create folders here and add files and folders to them and then access those on your phone as well. But those are the methods that I use to transfer files and photos from my iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch over to my MacBook, Mac PC, or even transferring them over to other iOS devices as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyable if you did hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification box and as always if you have any questions or run into any trouble just leave a comment i'm happy to help you out i'll see what's going on and we'll try to get you going thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one